non-GMO is good, right? Not so fast. Non-GMO does not necessarily mean no pesticides and weed killers. What non-GMO means is that the food has not been modified to be able to handle more weed killer and pesticide. So the crops are typically sprayed a lot more. So for example, soy and corn are two very widely used genetically modified uh, you know, crops here in the US. In fact, well over 90% of these crops are genetically modified. But when you see non-GMO, you have to look deeper. For example, wheat and oats are not genetically modified. So they can bear the label, something made with them can bear the label non-GMO. But what you may not know is that the weed killers are used on these crops within three days of harvest to weaken the plant so that they can be harvested easier. So you're actually getting a ton of Roundup type you know, weed killers. Glyphosate is the active ingredient. And those are horrible for your health. They've been linked to cancer and all kinds of other uh, debilitating conditions. So if you're going to eat those foods, don't just look for non-GMO, organic. If you look for the word organic, you're not going to have the pesticides and weed killers. And if you wanna learn more about glyphosate, look up Dr. Stephanie Seneff, S-E-N-E-F-F. -F. She's a researcher at MIT and most of her career has been uh, studying glyphosate and how it acts in the human body. We thought it was no big deal for the longest time. We, we thought it would not hurt us, but it turns out it really does. So take a look at Dr. Seneff's work if you wanna dig deeper into this subject and definitely avoid the pesticides and weed killers in your food.